Hello everyone, this is the second video of sampling and it will include the uh, relation between Fourier transform, discrete time Fourier transform, Z transform and fast Fourier transform. And we know that if we design a filter in uh, Z domain, we determine the places of zeros and poles. And we have an example here and the, the sampling frequency is 4 kilohertz and we want to place the pole at 500 hertz and the zero at 1 kilohertz and uh, we need a transform between Fourier transform and discrete time Fourier transform and the Z transform of course uh, the Fourier transform and discrete time Fourier transform uh, the relation can be given as uh, W equals omega t and also omega equals WFS and 2 pi in discrete time Fourier transform is 2 pi FS in Fourier transform in radian over second and in uh, Z transform uh, we know the Z equals e to the J omega in discrete time Fourier transform let's find the places of uh, frequency in uh, frequency tra uh, Fourier transform uh, to uh, discrete time for a transform 5 kilo, 500 hertz uh, is uh, 1000 pi here and uh, we know that the uh, 2 pi equals 2 pi fs and the sampling frequency uh, is 4 kilohertz therefore 8000 pi is 2 pi and 1000 pi is pi over 4 and let's find the place for 1 uh, kilohertz here and uh, this is 2000 pi and therefore in discrete time Fourier transform it is pi over 2 this is the zero let's place them on uh, z plane here and uh, this is the uh, imaginary Z and this is the real uh, Z as you know uh, we have pole at pi over uh, 4 as you can see and uh, we place the complex conjugate as a rule and pi over 2 for the zeros here is circle and the complex conjugate of it here and uh, we can write this as r, r of course smaller than 1 and r e to the j pi over 4 and the complex conjugate is r e to the minus j pi over 4 and the uh, zeros here always on the circle e to the j pi over 2 is j and e to the minus j pi over 2 is minus j and hz is and uh, can be written is like this the nominator in the numerator here the, uh, we have two fraction and the first one uh, is uh, this zero j here and here minus j and this is and the poles are in the denominator here the first pole is r e to the j pi over 4 and the second is the the complex conjugate is the r e to the minus j pi over 4 and we can now draw the approximate magnitude response of this filter here first let's put zeros at zeros uh, where pi over 2 here let's put zeros here the uh, filter response gives 0 at zeros and has a maximum responses at uh, poles poles are at pi over 4 we have pi over 4 here has a maximum output and the uh, approximate uh, response of the filter is like this and this is a low pass filter the second example let's design a band pass filter this time and the sampling frequency is 5 kilohertz let's place a pole at 1.25 kilohertz and zeros at 0, 500 and 2.5 this is 2.5 kilohertz and uh, poles 
for the pass band, zeros for the stop bands, of course. And let's find where these frequencies are in discrete time Fourier transform. For zero hertz, we know the uh, 5 kilohertz is the sampling frequency, therefore 10,000 pi is 2 pi, and therefore 0 is 0. For 500 hertz, this is uh, 1,000 pi, and therefore this is pi over 5. And 1.25 kilohertz is 2,500 pi, and this is pi over 2. And 2.5 kilohertz is pi, a half of it. Therefore, we find the places of the zeros and the pole. Let's place them on unit circle uh, uh, for the z domain. Uh, let's place the zeros here. First one is at zero. Second one is at pi over five on the circle exactly, and it's complex conjugate and at pi here. And the zero in the pole pi over two here, and it's complex conjugate, of course. This is r e to the j pi over two. This is its complex conjugate r e to the uh, minus j pi over two. Okay, now we can write eight z uh, for the uh, poles. We put the poles uh, at the denominator and the zeros to the uh, nominator here. Uh, this is for one, that's zero. This is for minus one, that's zero. This is for e to the j pi over five, of course, that's zero. And this is e to the minus j pi over five, of course, that's zero. We can draw the approximate uh, frequency response. Uh, okay, let's put zeros, first of all, zero, pi over 5 and pi here and the maximum at pi over 2 and the symmetric that's all this is an only approximate frequency response and we can draw this uh, for Fourier transform of course uh, pi over 5 is 500 pi over 2 is 1.25 kilohertz and the pi is 2.5 now let's see what's going on on uh, fast Fourier transform relation uh, between the Fourier transform discrete time Fourier transform for example we have a discrete time signal uh, n is from 0 to n minus 1 such as this okay the we know that the result of fast Fourier transform xk has the same number of elements k is from 0 to n minus 1 and uh, we know that xn is always real therefore xk is conjugate symmetric which means that the magnitude of xk is even and the phase response is odd let's draw the uh, magnitude of xk uh, as you can see it has a uh, even symmetry and let's uh, transform it to the Fourier transform here n minus 1 becomes a uh, sampling frequency okay and the in the middle we have fs over 2 and the delta f the frequency of uh, between each element is fs over n minus 1 and uh, if we transform it to the discrete time Fourier transform we know that fs becomes 2 pi and fs over 2 is pi and delta w is the diff uh, the distance between each element is 2 pi over n minus 1 that's all